But then I'm excited, man. It's just it's a whole bunch of good stuff just happening, man. NBA looking like they're trying to make a comeback. Dude. Even though, did you see Dude. what my man Dane Lillard said, bro? Uh, he said he doesn't want it to come back. Not this year. I don't know. Didn't he say only if he was out of the playoffs? No, because so this is the thing, right? The, I didn't watch the actual interview. Yeah, <laughs> of course not. <laughs> <laughs> so what he was saying was this. He said that he doesn't want the season to go on. First off, the playoff positioning, obviously they were in place to make a run for the eighth or seventh seed because their schedule was going to be drastically easier. Whereas I think Memphis has the eighth seed right now and they're, they have on paper the hardest schedule going forward for the rest of the season. Right. So they felt that that part wasn't going to be fair, but then they started talking about potential play-ins, right? So taking the top or the bottom three that were, Compete for that eighth spot yeah, in the East and the West. Seven, eight, nine, ten seed, maybe. Yeah, and have those teams have a play in to get into the playoffs. So they talked about that, but Lillard said that his biggest issue is the health element of it, not from a COVID situation, <clears throat> because obviously he talked about that, but more so the players being on the court playing in, in games after this two month break. It's, I think it's been 80 days now since everything stopped. And the thing that I could relate to, I said, man, your body people like to think of professional athletes as like superheroes they just show up boom they're ready to go but for the athlete man your training is schedule based you know what i mean the way you're training in january is different than how you're training in may versus how once the season starts your training so trying to have your body on that schedule on that clock so it's going to perform at an optimal level but at the same time it's going to be safe you're not going to have the pulls the muscle injuries and things like that it's all about understanding, okay, how much time do I have to get everything rolling? But for the NBA players, they never really had that luxury right now. I mean, you think the first two weeks, it was kind of like, how long is this going to be going on? Is this a quick issue? And then we're back. Then one month turned into two and a half months and, and just all the uncertainty. So training and trying to keep your body on a schedule. I mean, Bria Hartley, she talked about it a little bit as well, just how difficult it can be, especially depending on where you're living at and the resources that you have. So I could understand that element with Dane in terms of him not being, I guess, excited about potentially basketball coming back for this season. His team ain't in it. That's really what's going on. I mean, they're right in the mix, though. Yeah, but to win it all, because I was listening. Dude, the, the, think about last year. No, they, what, was, they made noise last year. Dude, come on. They, they didn't make noise last year? It's just a different team, different season. Dame Lillard is Dame Lillard. What are you talking about? No, I know. Dame <laughs> Lillard is Dame Lillard, but yeah. I mean. There's... It's always Dame Lillard and whoever else the other four you want to put out there with them. Or Dame Lillard and CJ McCollum, whoever else you want to put out there with I them. I don't think they're beating any of the top three or four seeds in the West. They did last year. They was beating teams. Yeah. Nobody gave them a chance. And then, and then and you that, saw and when Dame hit the three yeah. in the walk-off. Come on, man. Cut it out. Stop it. We're talking big winning here. That and is big winning. Anytime they, you win in the playoffs, big winning. We knew they weren't beating the Warriors. Nobody the, was beating the Warriors. But either way, they're you know on yeah. the cuffs this year. They're going to miss mm-hmm. the playoffs if the season ended right Correct. now. I think that's what's really going on because I was listening to something. Mm-hmm. I think it was the Herd. You know, I like listening okay. to Coward. He had Danny Green on, and he said something, I guess, more towards the opposite, where mm-hmm. it was like this break has actually been pretty good yeah. for us with the Lakers. We're a veteran team, mm-hmm. and we're looking for a championship. So this rest yeah. has been kind of nice. Mm-hmm. So... What do you got to think, too, for it's Danny? Not saying, How long was he playing, though? Danny played into a, a NBA Finals last year, so he's probably the most worn out of anybody on that team with the Lakers. And LeBron's just been in the league for you know, True, how many True, but years? LeBron, I mean, think about it. LeBron, his season ended super early last year, so he still doesn't have the same level of wear and tear that Danny Green had from this past season that they won it all in Toronto to hopping on with L.A. and then going on this grind as well. That's what I mean. Yeah. I think Lillard's just saying that because his team's out of it. Nah, see, I don't look at it that way, man. <laughs> Dude, I'm just uh, yeah. because yeah. he's not wrong. I mean, every I guess everyone has their own feel and yeah. take on things. But am I just a LeBron fan? And I'm hearing what I'm, what I want to hear. I mean, I don't you know. typically do that. <laughs> I mean, I, I think everyone does, but I, I think there's a couple yeah. sides to it. I think the rest could be a good thing. Okay. <laughs> but wait, man. hold on. Did you hear the playoff proposal? Mm-mm. I don't know if it was actually discussed amongst NBA owners and coaches, GMs, but uh, someone on Bill Simmons' site, The Ringer, okay. wrote up 
an article it explained it like it would be a round robin i did hear like about world that yes Cup, where it'd be 20 that. teams playing in different groups four right? groups yeah five teams in each group i think mm-hmm. everyone plays each other twice two teams yeah. get out of the group dude that would be insane that would be so sick but this is my thing if you're gonna do that then if i'm portland i'm pissed i feel like i should be involved in that uh, you would be. Yeah, it's that's what tw- I'm saying. Like, it's yeah, 20 yeah. teams. Right, that's what I'm saying. It like, would include some of the teams mm-hmm. on the cusp. Which would then prove your point of who's going to do big winning or not, because that's a totally different ball game there. What do you mean? You get the bad matchup, man. That's a totally a, different... A group, that, a hey, group of death. <laughs> I'm telling you. Hey, all right. <laughs> I just know LeBron's not going to be bouncing the first round, so I'm not worried about that at all. It's all about the matchups. <laughs> and we know LeBron's been training. We know LeBron has had access, but... It's a little different. That's, That's all, all I'm about. saying, man. But we're gonna get Lakers. We're gonna get Clippers. Yeah. You hope so, at least. Bucks. That's you all so. you really need. I mean, I'm thinking back though. The year that Golden State won it all. No, no. The the year where they uh, I'm trying to think. Except when they went was it 73 and nine? Mm-hmm. They could have essentially been bounced by OKC in that series prior to that. Remember in the Western Conference Finals? Then they also I want to oh, say yeah, they who, who is they struggled with somebody else that year too? Was it Memphis? Was it no? It, it might have won six games. I can't. Yeah, remember. but it was two, it was two other teams. So I'm like, there is no just guarantee that. Oh yeah, yeah it's gonna happen. They, they they're didn't, gonna get there. You know what happened with that Warriors team? They didn't get that rest. Uh, you see, whatever. You see what I'm saying? Here. I don't see what that's, you're saying. That's here, why man. they could have. They saying. could have used a little rest. All I'm there. saying is <laughs> when it comes to matchups, when you're talking the round robin type thing, because it's not like we're still talking seven game series in that round robin. We're talking what they said. What two games? Right? You, two. You, you play every team twice. Yeah. That's totally different than your traditional seven game series. In a seven game series, you got time to really match up. Okay, right. we got this right here. We got that right there. You get in some of these groups. Let's be real. They're not gonna have a whole trash group where it's just the Lakers and four bum teams. Like it's a little different. That's all I'm saying, man. Be, be careful. It would be awesome. Oh, I would love it. It would I be. Would love it. it would be insane. But yeah. yeah, if the Lakers got bounced, well, they you, you don't would be in your it. feelings. You don't deserve you, it. Then you, you get you, bounced. You would totally no, hate it though. Yes, if, you would. if one of the top three you or four teams get bounced, you don't deserve it. Well, why not? Now I would feel more. It's bad. different because of how this year is. So technically, you can't say they didn't deserve it. So it was therefore, if say you were living in a studio apartment or you had just a condo and you don't have access to you know the courts, you didn't have access to cardio equipment. That's your fault that you weren't prepared during this time. Stay that's, that's what that you could, just said. You just said they don't deserve that, it. But you just said they don't deserve it if they get bounced in this round robin style game. If man. one of the top three or four teams. How yeah. can you say they don't deserve it? They were quarantined. They're one of the top three or four teams. They were quarantined. They should win this game. They were quarantined. How can you say if you were training? If you're training? LeBron, Giannis, Kawhi. Giannis you know, said it himself. Teams. Listen, Giannis said it himself. Man, I didn't even have a basketball go to go shoot on. All I've been doing is cardio in the house. That's what he said his quarantine was like. And up until the Bucks just recently opened up their facilities, he said he hadn't shot a basketball. Dude, so he, how are you going to blame him for that? He's got resources. I don't know what's going on there. Why, well, what why do you can't mean? He, why, can't he build a, why can't he build a hoop in his front yard or something? He, did, he, he said he stays in the apartment complex. Oh, okay. Yeah, which a lot of guys, if you not, I mean, obviously you got like your LeBrons and everybody thinks that everybody's LeBron. No different Giannis, than NFL. Giannis is on that level though. Giannis got paid like LeBron? He's got resources where he could at least get Giannis a basketball got paid like a LeBron? basketball, no? <laughs> Stop it. And, and this is the thing. If I'm Giannis and I have 24-7 access to the Bucks facility, why would I need a court? Think about this. So you're no, saying... No, right. And so in this general during so the season, it, So yeah. So why would I have even have to think about getting a basketball court or finding well, somewhere this, to shoot at? This situation happened. Yeah, no one was planning for this. Obviously, no no one in the world was. So you can't say that that's his fault for not having that. No, I'm not saying it's his fault, but situation... You're saying if he gets bounced, he doesn't deserve it. No, if situation happens, Mm -hmm. uh, you find a way to get a basketball hoop and a a ball. How? Doing quarantine when, remember, for the first month of this thing, it was, oh, man, you die if you go outside. Well, you better not... Hey, don't even look at somebody too hard. Well, that's that's a whole nother debate. It is a whole... We're not going to go down there. Who are you listening to? We're not going to go down there, but that it was enough (laughs) that the whole world shut down. So put it like that. Everyone's everyone's got the same situation outside of LeBron then. Well, we don't. I mean, we, we I'm don't know. LeBron we don't know because for, that's documented. But we was, don't know for a fact. For, for yeah. example, Chris Middleton, he said, OK, I shoot at my neighbor's house. That's what, you I, see mean. what I mean. But that's like I mean. he lives in an actual house, not an apartment complex. If you really wanted to shoot, I mean, couldn't you figure it out? That's, well, that's in New York City. So what about the guys in New York where they took the basketball court? They took the uh, the goals off the courts. Oh, really? Yeah. Man, where have you 
been? Do you I, not watch the news? I don't, man. Clearly. I really don't. Yes, man. The governor I, took... I try to stay Listen, positive, listen man. The, the, the governor there took the basketball hoops off because they said people were still trying to go outside and shoot. Dude, at the end of the day, everyone's dealing with this one way or another. Yeah. And you're going to get a month okay. or so coming back. We're whatever assuming. Practice, you're, we're assuming that. Whatever it is. Yeah. If you get bounced, you deserve. It. That's all. If I personally don't think that because you didn't you didn't play good enough in in those games that you've been that? given. That's all. I'm all. saying is this, dude. If you typically this think is, about no, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you, you, uh, this is the problem. This you is outside of an even round robin. If you but, get bounced this, in a seven game you know, series, you deserve to be out. But if you're getting bounced in a seven game series in a traditional year, sure. Not in this one month of preparing. What think about, about this year though? This is what I'm saying. If if. Dude, if this is a regular season and you have a regular seven game series where you've trained all year for that season, for that series, sure, you're not going to tell me a team doesn't deserve to be in it if they get bounced after being quarantined for two months and then you have one month to quote unquote be ready to play basketball and you get knocked out. Like, I'm not hearing that, bro. You you don't what understand. What are you hearing then? Is, are you good with excuses then? People it's not an in? excuse. It's real life. It's a reason why guys train all year round, right? It's a reason why when the season ends, you take a couple weeks off and you start training then for the season. You think guys wait a month before the season starts to get ready? You think you would get... F- Listen, I'm not no, saying no, I'm going to be hard me. on the players. Dick, I'm just dude, saying you, you don't think, deserve it. Dick, if you lose, Dick, you're you out. You think you could be ready to play? You think you'd be ready to play in a professional sport in a month of training? <laughs> I, I will bet a million no dollars you won't be able I to. I have no clue. Dude. It's professional athletes I know right now that if they took off everything and just took one month to train, they wouldn't even be ready to play. It's not how it works, man. My it's question, not. My question is, though, what about looking back on the you know the 70s and 80s, some of these dudes coming in? Okay. Just even off Bender. No, 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 no. Check me out. So you talk about the guys in the 70s and 80s. First off, their training camps were a lot longer. In particular, when we talk NFL, they didn't have the same like OTAs and stuff, but their training camp was way longer because that was their only time to get in shape to play. And their seasons were shorter. So that's the difference. In the NBA or in the NFL now, you look at how long these seasons are. You look at the competition level now compared to back then. It's different. That's all I'm saying. So you could try to make it as if it's just this, oh man, you had a month know. to get there's, ready, you're ready to go. That's not the, how it works. There's arguments for the NBA though that's saying it was, it was more physical back then. It's still 82 games. You can't say it was more physical back then. Okay. We ain't going down there either. I don't have time for that. <laughs> what? what? I mean, there's there's arguments for that, no? I'm not saying it's a better or worse game. It's just, it was just more physical. More physical because they the, just foul more? Yeah, exactly. I mean, So because you're fouling, what it makes more physical? If, if, if a 200-pound guy fouls you versus a 260-pound guy fouls you, you tell me which one you think is more physical. What do you mean? Just so back then, bigger? yeah. Back then, those guys weren't big like how these guys are now. So you you could tell me all day you want, man, about, oh, man, look at this guy right here. We talked about how big this guy is. I don't is. know, dude. They were, like, legit brawl. Like, you look at those next teams. and Oh, some brawl? Of those- okay, okay. A street fight is one thing. We're talking about a horror foul in basketball. Boy, Pist- I don't know, man. We're talking about a horror foul. Ba- how big was Lambert? Uh, like, I- you don't you don't no, hear no, no, stories no, 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 no. about KD and LeBron having to overcome and get, like, crazy physically strong. Like Jordan had just to beat a Are team. Are you trying to sell that to me Just to beat right a now? team. That's all. You're about to sell I'm, that to no, me No, I'm right talking now? about physicality. You're that's about to sell that to me about. right now. You're trying to sell that to me right now? Oh, that's what I'm just saying. Dude. Okay. I'm talking about physicality. You're going to... Okay. You look at these Lakers Celtics please, matchups please, please and tell me, you know, the please fouls tell me that were who, going on. So that's, tell me who was the most all. physical guy. Is a foul is a foul. Please tell me who was the most physical guy and who was his and how big how big was he? How big was he? Tell me. Those dudes would continue playing the game. How big was he? Tell me how big he was. What? How big was these these physical brawlers, these tough guys? How big were they? Tell me. They were big. They were tall. How big? How big? They were tall. How man. big? They were big. How big? I, don't, I just know there were a lot of fouls. A lot of fouls being a called. A lot of fouls is not called to... back then. And how do you the figure? So they never call fouls. Set. So you're going to say they didn't call fouls back then now? Is that what you're about to tell me? <laughs> you're trying to sell now, me on dude. that? The bad boy pisses. They never, so they never called a foul when they hit Jordan out People the air. People would be getting ejected from the game, dude. This okay, foul. sure. Now because they, they realize playing. that's they not basketball. Because right. they realize it's not basketball. That's, that's just what I mean. fouling. It was, it was more physical, yes. It's not more physical though. That's not more physical. Just because you're hitting a guy doesn't make it more physical. More physical is if I know if LeBron fouled one of those guys right there, the way they're quote unquote physical, somebody would have died. It's a difference. That's all I'm saying. That doesn't so you know happen. Uh, last thing we said was if LeBron did this more physical era back then, if LeBron hit one of those guys back then like that, somebody would have died. That's physical to me. With that was just okay. You hitting the guy, cool. They getting up because it ain't like that. It's cool though. I don't know, dude. That's how I feel about I, it. I don't know, 
something, man. Yeah. No, that's not what some of these dudes that were playing back then were saying. Like, why, 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 why wouldn't they say that? They're, of course, you know you're going to gas your era up. Why the is, same way they... Why man, Jordan, Jordan was, the, it was the toughest era they ever played. It was tough as this, tough as that. Okay, I'm cool, not saying bro. it's better or worse. I'm just okay, saying man. more physical. Hey, hey to each And what own. I mean is they played the 82 games uh-huh. and... Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know. I think uh-huh. I think the rest isn't going to okay. be that detrimental. Maybe okay. that's all. Fair, hey, man. You get to a, each his own. You get a month to come back. To each his own. And, here's man. my point. End of the day. End of the day. In terms of when I say deserve, mm-hmm. you lost the games. You deserve to be out of it. That's as simple hey, as that. Everyone's own, on the same playing field. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to be hard on the players. Technically, for they're not all on the same playing field. We just... Dude, we already broke that down. LeBron, now they're not. LeBron. Though. You can't outside just say of, LeBron. That, you, we, how are you just going to say LeBron because you know LeBron? Every, everyone's got their own situation. Though you figure out a way. And then if you have it's a month, if simple. you have a How month you to say come you back, you figure out a way when you're supposed to be quarantining. If you have a month to come back, you gotta figure. You gotta figure out your own way. I don't know if that's not touching the basketball, like you. Oh, so you saying you know what they should have done? You saying they should have just said forget the quarantine and just took their chances. You said figure out a way. That's what you're saying, right? Is that what you're Never telling said me? That you could... you you said that you should just figure out a way. That's what you told me, D. Nah, hey man, why this kidding. quarantine is going on where people would die, man? Just figure out a way to get to a hoop. That's what you're telling me. That's not what I'm saying. You just said figure out a way. What, so what does figure out a way mean? It could be either or. It could be either or. You could say screw it. I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out my way and uh-huh. not abide by safety rules. Uh huh. I'm gonna figure out a way where Wh- which it one is. would you have done? You know, <laughs> you, you know what I would have done, man. I I wasn't. I still don't believe a lot of the hype with this thing. <laughs> So, uh, but each their own. Like I said, yeah. you figure out a way. That's that's all. Fair I'm gonna enough. Say. 